Hey guys, it's the Solar Coffee, and today inside of some monster analysis video, we're going to be going over Ion V2, and I'm going to be telling you guys whether or not he is worth getting out of his current breeding event. So let's go ahead and get right into it. All right, so Ion V2 is a support, and his traits are Control Immunity, which is very good. He also has Hardened, and he has Area Random Hater, which can be good if you get something good. It's kind of just luck based though. And then his relics are Essence and Mask, which are actually amazing relics. Now let's go on down to the pros and the cons. So he does have a ton of pros. He has a good trait, good relics, and many random haters. So he has access to double and triple damage, which is great. He also has decent speed. Of random hater skills are RNG, so they could be good, but that's also a con because, of course, they could be bad. And then he has low stamina costs and decent cooldowns. And then his cons are no NER and horrible lifestyle, which are kind of problems. But yeah, he does have a lot more pros than cons. So it's going down to the moveset. So he has an AoE light weakness with a team damage boost, which is pretty great. He also has an ally triple damage with team random hater. So just with that move, I know that he'll be really good for bounty hunts because you can boost damage a ton. And then he also has an ally at double damage with team random hater. And then he has a reinforce for two team random haters, which is pretty decent. And then he has an AoE guard down with metal weakness. So you would definitely want to use this double damage though. The team random hater one just isn't really worth it. Especially since this double damage does give random hater. So yeah, I wouldn't worry about this move right here. But yeah, besides that, he has some really great moves. He seems like he would be great for bounty hunts because of course he does have a lot of damage boost. So yeah, definitely worth getting just for bounty hunts even. And of course he is inside of a breeding event. So he is definitely worth getting because he is super easy to get. So yeah, go and get this monster out of the breeding event just for bounty hunts. You could even use it on your team if you want. This monster is just very, very good. But yeah, let me know down in the comments if you guys are going to be getting this monster and if you're just going to be using him for bounty hunts or if you're actually going to be using him in multiplayer because he is definitely still worth using even though he is kind of an older monster he's still ranked b under all of the monsters in the game which is pretty great and he's ranked s inside of his era so yeah he is very good definitely worth getting definitely worth using especially since he is free in a breeding event so yeah that's going to be for this video don't forget to like and subscribe more videos like this and i'll see you guys in the next one goodbye